that mirror is good for. Checking to make sure I'm recording. Other than that, useless. Today we're on an adventure, we're going to a destination. I also discovered a way of losing weight that doesn't involve taking massive dumps. As long as this guy goes, come on, move bitch. Gap, there it is, go, 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 go. Oh my God, it is very blowy outside, it's super windy. Last time I got blown around this hard was when I brought a hundred dollar bill to the hooker district of Mexico. Oh, why would you slow down there? You were fucking going fast and then decided to slow down. He was doing 50 when it was two lanes. It goes down to one lane and the motherfucker goes 35 miles an hour. Long skinny on the right, you bitch. Long skinny on the right, you bitch. That's a good song. That's a real good song. A lot of people should know that song. This is like the church district of Texas or Boston. Like this entire road is like church, 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 church. This is the road you go to if you need some Jesus. I guess I can't really do any shenanigans in this road without being condemned. Oh God. If I had my faster bike, I would have passed them already, but I just don't trust this thing to be able to go fast enough on a double yellow. And it's illegal. You speed up on the corners and you slow down for the straightaways. Who taught you how to drive, Satan? Oh, praise Jesus! Anyway, so where we're going today is we're gonna go try and find this, I think it's Sunset Hill or Sunset Lookout, something like that. Uh, someone sent me a location of where this is and it looked kind of cool. It's a dirt road to get to it, so I figured that's only appropriate to bring the WR down a dirt road. Well, not appropriate, but you know what I mean. It makes more sense. So we're going to take the WR, which I've been on a lot. My asshole is killing me because I was on this all day yesterday too. The appropriate kind of on it. I was doing off-road all day yesterday in Supermoto trim and it was awesome. It was awesome. And I swear I probably lost a good like three pounds just from like sweating it out and like working it out. Because on the, on the Supermoto trim you get stuck a lot. You can't get over a lot of the things the other dirt bikes can because you don't have the grip. So you kind of have to like heave ho it a lot over some of these rocks and stuff. So I was doing that a lot. It's a good workout. So yeah, obviously this isn't the best option for off-roading. It just, even if it did have dirt tires, it, it just isn't. It's it's still geared for the street. It's uh, very old, and you know it's just, the reliability factor becomes even more of an issue when you're in the middle of nowhere with no cell phone reception. If you know what I mean, that kind of sucks. National Wildlife Refuge. Oh, here it is. Coming up real close from here. Is that the road? It might be it right there. Yeah. All right, yo. Dang, there's like a lot of trails out here. Like hiking trails, not for like this. It specifically says you're not allowed to do this shenanigans. Uh, why do they ever make roads out of concrete? It just seems so inefficient. Oh, and it sucks. Oh, God. Oh, stop making roads out of concrete. Asphalt only. Because rough. Rough. Like your mother likes it, you're back. Uh, parking information, Cactus Rocks Trail. Oh, that's where it becomes dirt. Okay. Now this, this is what the WR is made to do. Dirt roads like this. It's very, 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 very slick. Because I have like racing slicks on the front pretty much. But I would not be able to go this fast in the CBR. You could like carve your own trail through there easily. With ease! Just ease a trail right on in there. Sunset deck. That's what I'm looking for. How is there nobody here? How is this like vacant? I figured there would be like a million people here. All right. Let's go see what this is all about. This is a very inefficient walkway. To do this, well, it couldn't. <laughs> uh, inefficiencies. It wasn't any more fun. It was not more fun than going straight through here. I can promise. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Wow. Wow. The GoPro here will not do it justice. This. Wow. One hell of a view. This is going to be a new favorite hangout. This is fucking legit. But first, let's take a selfie. Doesn't say I can't. <laughs> See, now it was more fun. <laughs> yeah. I almost forgot my gloves. That could have sucked ass. Oh yeah. I would like to find a road just like this, or worse, but dirt, preferably like this, that goes for miles, miles, and I would like to like cross different states, take like a multi-day journey. Oh, I want to do that so bad, it'd be so fun. My buddy Sean and I have been thinking about this for years, we got to make this happen. If anybody knows of such places that someone with very limited dirt experience like myself can, can tackle, I would totally, I would go out and buy a motorcycle that can do it and find the time and fucking do it. Like, I would camp like right here in the bushes, just on the side of the road. Oh, that would be so cool. I will, I will, I will, on my own money, I will take my own money, I will fund the entire thing and make videos of it. Oh, let me know. I really would love to know those places. There are like trails and roads all over the place. I know this side of the road is a preserve. That side is private property, so I know we're allowed over here for a certain... Oh my god, this is hurting my anus. Hurts my anus. I think that's another trailhead right there. Warbler Vista, Balcones, Canyon, Lens, National Wildlife Refugee Center. Ha! <laughs> Check it out if you're in the area. It's kind of cool. Yeah, Fry, stay on the fucking road, you idiot. <laughs> it's reasons like this why I absolutely love the idea of a supermoto. When this thing is running and running well, like it is right now, I can do cool things. I can spend all weekend with this bike, like I did. I went off roading, went some awesome trails, had a blast, nearly killed myself, but didn't. And then the very next day, just change the oil and bring it out on the open road like this and find cool places while doing a little bit of dirt, minor dirt. It's like, it's the idea of being able to do that is so cool. It's so cool and it's really hard to give that up when you have it, if that makes any sense. I don't know if it does. But for that reason, I'm gonna have a very hard time parting with this bike as the last every, while now, the last while this thing has been quite reliable. It's, it's, I mean, reliable is not the word. Predictable. Predictable is the word, I guess. You, I, it's, it's little bugs that it does have. I can predict them. I know when they're going to happen. I know what it's going to do. I hope you guys like my little dual sport adventure for the day. That was kind of fun. I was actually pleasantly surprised at how nice and empty that place was. That was a really good area to go just kind of chill and like get away for a minute. That was really cool. Uh, I think it was Jimmy who showed me that one. Thanks, Jimmy. Until next time, guys. Do not forget to like, comment. Comment, let me know if you know any roads like that, like Transcontinental Highway kind of thing. Uh, and uh, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Share this with your friends. Maybe they have a good idea for a great highway for me. That is already dried up. What a shame. And until then, and I'll keep the camera on in the event something crazy happens, which once the camera dies, that's when crazy things will happen. But until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.